Hello world, this is P Bunny and I'm back. Oh, I'm back. Hey, this is Bathroom Chronicles. And today's topic is beauty. Not beauty. Beauty within. Loving yourself. Let's talk about mine, but sometimes I just want somebody to talk to. Someone that's on This is P Bunny, and this is Bathroom Chronicles. Today's topic is about beauty and self self beauty. Um, I know I get the question of Pat, you have all these confidence of feeling beautiful, like the confidence of no one can tell you nothing. And in my last video, I did talk about that. Of you can't tell me nothing. Like I know I'm beautiful, and that comes with a long time of telling myself that and finding beauty within me. I know in my previous videos before I spoke about when I was younger, I used to think that I was an ugly duckling in my family. I used to think that I was not beautiful. Um, I was the darkest. I was the more um, big girl back then. I call now I'm, a, I'm just voluptuous. I'm going to tell you how to change that. But being a big girl and being that way, right? And always thinking like these negative thoughts in my head. And once I started growing up and I started blossoming, you know, and I started looking at myself like, oh my God, Pat, you are beautiful. Look at your nose, look at your eyes, look at your smile. Look at these things on you that is just beautiful. And for me, it's always been changing someone's thought process into a positive. They'd be like, oh, you're a big girl. Oh, you fat. You did, did, did. Mm. <laughs> Who, me? No. No, no, no. I'm voluptuous. You know, I'm voluptuous. I don't, I, that's what I call myself. And I take the negative and I spin it into something positive and something more appealing. You know, when you do that, it's all in your mind of changing the way you look at yourself and the way you proceed, the way you move on in the world. A lot of people could tell you whatever they want about you and be like, Pat, you ain't all that. You fat. You, your, your lips too big and da, 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 da. Uh, so, uh, 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 so I don't care. Like I'm not fat. I'm voluptuous. My lips not big as juicy. You just mad. Cause mm, my eyebrows is not humongous. It's just sexy thick. You know what I mean? So give me a second. So yeah. So it's just a wonderful ideal train of mind that you have to do each and every day. So yeah, so finding yourself, finding your inner beauty in yourself is something humongous to do. Um, finding that confidence and finding a way to change the negative thoughts into positive. Um, it takes a lot of energy and a lot of a lot of energy, a lot of thought process, and a lot of you to put into yourself. We we work hard into putting our energy in other people, putting our energy into making something wonderful and perfect and things of that nature. But we don't want to spend the time to do that for ourselves. We don't want to spend the time to work on ourselves to make ourselves beautiful or inner beauty or make ourselves happy. Our number one thing in life is us. We could do whatever we can in this world. But at the ending of the day, the only person that you have is you. Like you. Like everything else in this world is for them. But what about you? What about your mental health? Mental health is such a crucial thing. Um, that everyone needs to know and, and be aware of and try to work on. Um, taking steps into breathing, meditation. I said that in my previous videos um, of steps that you could do to help your mental health. Talk to people and try to change that negative feeling. Um, you break up with someone and you're feeling less than. And you're feeling like because they have somebody else, you're feeling like they're better than you or... They, they they have something that you don't. 
maybe they do have something you don't. So? Maybe they do look better than you. So? But they're not you. You are one of one. Like, you are magnificent. You know, maybe they're, they're, they, they have this image of them, but they're not you. Yeah, they could be sexy and have a flat stomach, big booty, big titties. So, inside they're rotten. Not saying all rotten people, all pretty people are rotten. Not saying that. But, anyways, they could be rotten. You know what I mean? They, they, they don't have the, the ideas that you have. They don't have the, the the positive, not positive, they don't have the caring, loving, nurturing person that you may be, or the toughness, or the swag, or anything that you have. So you, you can't always look at the next person and be like, why I don't have that? Why they have and I don't? No, because what's for you is for you, and what's not for you is not for you. The grass is not always green on the other side. And sometimes we have to work within ourselves. And sometimes over there, they may not be less um, toxic because your inner self is fighting itself. Your demon, the demon in you is fighting and you're letting it win and, and you're pushing people away. And people don't want to be around negativity or toxic people. They don't. So you have to worry, you have to work on yourself and work on what makes you happy. Like, work on trying to make yourself better. F push out that negative train of thought and the negative ideas that you have, you know? And sometimes people have the fake confidence of, yeah, like, people have been, Pat probably don't even feel like that. She probably faking it. Oh, uh oh, -uh. my confidence is true. Some people confidence are fake confidence and they're they still look in the mirror and feel less than and you just need to push that less than back like you do like you you need to push it back don't get me wrong sometimes they be minds be creeping in just like my nails be creeping in but then i be pushing that thing back back your ass up like no nah, you're not doing that to me this pretty girl little thing right here gonna stay so you just got to have that inner beauty and that inner confidence in yourself. Like I said, I'm beautiful. And I want you to tell yourself that too. Women, men, both, everyone, the T's, you know, the everyone is beautiful in their own way. And if you don't feel completely beautiful and you feel like you need to make some small enhancement to make you feel that way, then do those small enhancements. But... If you don't work on this mental, before you go do plastic surgery or whatever, you always want to find something about yourself you do not like and you want to change. Not everything about you needs to be changed. You have to fix up here, you know, like fix up here and then go out there and then make that decision. And once you make that decision and it makes you happy, then you know it's the right decision. Just do stuff to make you happy. You're the only person that can make yourself truly happy. You can't depend on other people to make you happy. You cannot. God brings you opportunities to make you happy. And sometimes we're so blind that we don't see it. We keep being blind. And it's peekaboo. Peekaboo, that means you have to open up. But you want to just keep closed and God's opening that door. Peekaboo, open up. And you don't want to do those type of things. And you need to. You need to be able to open your mind and be able to receive the love and the blessing that's coming to you. And, and be open to it. And feel it. So, this is Bathroom Chronicles. Please subscribe to my channel. Like this video. Subscribe. I said that already. Share this video. Share my videos. It comes every Thursday. And just send out that positivity. Send it to a friend that needs to hear this boost. You know, everyone needs, needs to hear this. And I want uh, the whole world to understand that you're beautiful. No matter who you are. You're amazing. Just the way.